Hi everyone. This week we are bringing you along on our getaway to Michigan's western shore, including a stay at the wonderful Pioneer Park campground, a visit to the quaint towns of Whitehall and Montague, and a visit to the historic White River Light Station. Michigan's western shore. Warm, beautiful days filled with sand, sun, water, and waves, followed by long, slow evenings and cool, crisp nights gathered around the campfire with the smell of wood smoke filling the air. Pack your swimsuits, sunscreen, and a good book. Leave behind your phone, your work, and all your worries. Keegan County's Pioneer Park Campground truly is a hidden gem of Michigan's western shore. With over 145 acres, this park offers camping, swimming, sunbathing, tennis, softball, baseball, and volleyball, and much, much more. There are 235 sites at Pioneer Park, all with electric and water. Most sites are 30 amp but there are a few with 50 amp, although the reservation system is not very clear about this. The sites are generally quite large and some sites shaded and cool while others are nice and sunny. All sites are equipped with a picnic table and a good sized fire ring. There is a fun playground, shower houses and bathrooms, and even ice cream sandwiches and other treats at the concession stand on summer weekends. There is no camp store and the nearest grocery store is about a 10 minute drive into town. And if for some reason you do have to work, we really cannot think of a better office than this one. On summer weekends, the campground will get very crowded and the check-in process can take some time. But the atmosphere is very family friendly and relaxing and all the campsites are within a very easy 10 minute stroll to the beach. The true highlight of Pioneer Park is over 2,000 feet of frontage on Lake Michigan's coastline. So stroll down the shaded boardwalk through the trees toward the sand dunes until you come to one of the observation decks overlooking the sparkling waters of the lake. The refreshingly cool breezes will feel like natural air conditioning as you gaze out across the huge expanse of water. Next, you need to head down the stairs to the beach. Kick off your shoes and prepare to stroll along the almost half mile long beach at Pioneer Park. The rhythmic crashing of the waves will help you relax as you gaze on the magnificent sand dune bluffs along this beach. Maybe you prefer to stroll through the surf or set up your umbrella and chair, or perhaps you'll bring a ball and frisbee. However you like to enjoy the sand and sun, this beach is perfect. At the Great Lakes, prepare to be amazed. Gulls and driftwood dot the landscape as you pick your way along the wide sandy beach. Towering sand dune bluffs formed by the constant prevailing wind demonstrate the power and beauty of God's creation. And the clear, fresh, cold water will bring a much needed respite on hot summer days. So take your time and enjoy this beautiful Muskegon County Beach. 
Just came off the beach at Pioneer Campground in Muskegon, Michigan. Yeah. And this is a Tuesday, so we got kind of an idea of what, what it's like midweek. It was really crowded. We came in on a Saturday and everything was crowded. Campground, pretty much every site was full. Yeah. Beach was probably a lot more crowded. Yeah. But by midweek, it's really not crowded at all. No. Um, it's almost like a private beach, really. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you feel like a private beach. It's, it's a walk from your campsite and um, really nice walk down the dunes with some stairs and then uh, you can hang out at the beach all day we're here in late june and the water is not warm um, well so, as per usual for lake michigan <laughs> yeah i think it's in the mid 80s today with a really nice cool breeze um, the lake is probably in the 50s, upper 40s, 40s lower yeah. 50s yeah so we're having a great week and uh, we're going to take you out and get you some more uh, idea of what pioneer Park campground has to offer. The wonderful city of Muskegon has many excellent attractions, including the USS Silverside Submarine Museum, a fantastic lakeshore bike trail, and a really nice farmer's market. But today we are paying a visit to the charming small towns of Whitehall and Montague. Of course, be sure to check out the world's largest weather vane, which is 48 feet tall and actually moves with the wind. Spanning the shores of White Lake, this quintessential Michigan lakeside town offers a great break from the beach. Stroll along the quiet streets where you can visit gift shops, antique stores, and other fine boutiques. Or pop into one of the many wonderful restaurants, coffee shops, and even microbreweries for a bite to eat. Maybe check out the charming Lipka's Old Fashioned Soda Fountain. On our visit, the historic car hop restaurant Dog and Suds was closed, but we hope to see it open again in the future. Just a short but scenic drive from Whitehall Montague, you will find the White River Light Station. Built in 1875, the White River Light Station sits on the White Lake Channel where it guided ships into the safety of White Lake for almost 100 years until it was decommissioned in the 1960s. Today, the light station features a museum which showcases many reminders of the rich nautical history of shipping on Lake Michigan. Visitors to the museum can climb the old spiral staircase in the octagonal limestone tower for excellent views of Lake Michigan and White Lake. Standing along the channel, we can watch pleasure boats cruise through as they return to the safety of the harbor from the vastness of Lake Michigan. But in years past, this lighthouse served as a guide for the passenger and freight shipping on the Great Lakes that made this region a hub of commerce. Okay, so this is the White River Light Station, an old lighthouse that we were able to come visit um, from our campground at Pioneer Park. We are 15, 20 minutes to the towns of Whitehall, Montague. Mm -hmm. What about them? They're just cute little towns, touristy towns that have been around for a really long time. Um, there's just some stuff to do, you know, like a light ice cream soda fountain, yep. cute little drug stores and um, just old little shops and artisans and stuff like that. Just gorgeous views of the lake and the harbor. Yeah, just the perfect little town to go spend an hour or two, go through the old bookstore or the old antique shop and get an ice cream cone. Yeah. Perfect. And it's only, I'd say 15, 20 minutes from the campground. Yeah. From, so yeah. this is a great day and this lighthouse is so scenic and picturesque. So great day. Michigan sunset, we are sure that this video does not do justice to the grandeur of watching the sun slip down the sky and finally dip into the lake's shimmering water. 
Whether you prefer to watch from the observation decks perched on the bluffs or from the beautiful sand along the shore, you will be rewarded with a beautiful sight as you watch the colors paint the evening sky. Michigan's northern latitude and position at the far western edge of the eastern time zone means it stays light out well into the evening. Most nights in summer, the sun does not set until 9.45 or even later, so these cool evenings make the perfect time for a long, quiet stroll along the shore. A cool breeze will greet you, the waves lapping on the shore will accompany you, and on midweek nights you will likely have the whole place to yourself. So get out and enjoy it. Okay, so last day we are leaving Pioneer Campground in Muskegon, Michigan. Yeah. What are your thoughts as we're packing up? Um, initially, I was super irritated with them because they put us in a 30 amp spot and didn't seem to really care that we'd asked for 50 yeah. and that there weren't any other 50s left. Um, but overall, I'd say it was good. Yeah. I, I think yeah. it's, the, it's proximity to the beach and it's a gorgeous beach is really good. If, yeah. if we're a little later in the summer, it would have been even better. Um, but right. we knew that coming in. Yeah. Um, spacious spots very yeah. shady um if if it had not been so s shady the 30 amp would have been would have been a problem yeah. a real Agreed. issue in yeah. in the heat um but other than that i would say it, it does get crowded on the weekends yeah. um but it's just crowded with families and stuff it's not no no yeah it's really nice yeah it's, it's a good it's a good vibe yeah good feel yeah friendly fun yes yeah, yeah. I agree. I, I think uh, it's a great little hidden gem here on Michigan's West Shore. I would say the some of the spots are kind of wonky as far as where is the electric placed and the water. True. Bring I, an extension cord and an extra like extra length hose, extra length power. Mm -hmm. um, have a dog bone for thirty amp if you need it. Um, but uh, you know, uh, people. I saw people getting real creative with how they were parking their campers to make it work. Um, and I think nobody cares as long as you're in your spot, right. you know, it's fine. Right. So really, really nice. The spots are big, they're shady, easy walk. I don't, I don't think we're more than about 300 yards to the beach. Right. And nice size fire pits. Right. And a lovely board walk along lovely the top yeah. of the bluff. Yeah. So with, yeah. with little spots to stop and look out. So. All right. Well, that's it. We are uh, hitting the road and moving up the Michigan into uh, kind of the Michigan. northern part of the lower peninsula and we'll see you up there <laughs>